left, winning that first epic series, but then losing that last game abruptly. How will he do this time? We have to see. He is... There he is. Drink it in, guys. Just like the water in his bottle that he drinks in. <laughs> in the upper right, we've got our Zerk player. Uh, eager to get into the round of eight. He very well may do it. He is... Tate, curious. Okie dokes. Well, uh, what do you think Kerry's going to do? Is he going to do some kind of Ling Roach attack again? Well, uh, oh, you know what? He's going to get proxy or axe. No. It's 12 racks there by Gumiho. Uh, sending out a singing SUV. The thing is, Curious is doing a drone scout here. And he's going to see this uh, SCV leaving at kind of an interesting time. A bit peculiar. Yes. yes. Oh, so, so, so. A little bit odd. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, well, Gumio is clearly like, all right, <laughs> I don't want to play any more games today. I don't want to play any more games today. <laughs> he's like, thank you for roach rushing me. Now I'm going to rax you. The like, guy pretty much feel like I already won the GSL after playing <laughs> that game against Lucera. I would like to go fair home. Fair enough, now. man. That is fair enough. I'm so angry right now. Caldor thinks he's so cool for having a longer game than we had. Yeah, man. Well, I tell you what, actually. How about this? How about we factor in the time that we had to spend while Gumiho was uh, resting? How about we factor we in factor the fact that, that he had begun in his game, which automatically gives you minus 10 minutes because no, his games true. are already so long. Yeah. See, or you know what we could do, because we have the microphones right now? We could have all of our Valentines on the internet tweet at Caldor and tell him that actually they checked the VOD length and our game was longer. Yeah, that actually And we could be just make troll. him lose his mind, because he'll yeah, be checking and be like, is it really? And they'll be like, no, it's not. What is wrong with these people? And then while we're doing that, we can also make up lies about Caldor to malign him. Yeah. You know, like, okay, guys, I don't know if you guys knew this, but Caldor says he's a Zerg, but he actually uses Terran. <laughs> Caldor like, no! steals money from children. Like, yeah. There you go. All right, the wings are out. Um, Caldor went to a blood drive and took all the blood because he's a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> That's an awful thing to say, Dan. <laughs> well, we do have the Marines out right now. Doing a little bit of pressure. Curious. Quite a few links. Might want to throw down a spine just in case. Yeah. Like, this is, it gets pretty scary. If you don't have a really good eye on exactly how many Marines they're making, uh, there are some really weird Marine counts that they can go with and even pull a CVs at times that can really mess you up. So he's walking across right now. Another command center on the way, and we're going to have yet another one Yeah. Uh, coming up here. And then two gasps. Yep. Gasp. Two gasps. Is. Gasp. Two gasps. All right, losing some lings there, but at least he knows where the Marines are, the numbers yeah. as well. And then he has to make 10 more lings. See, this is why I really love it when you just throw down a spine, because one spine is one drone gone, 100 minerals. Instead, he makes 10 more lings there. Five loses drones some gone. Zone. Yeah. It's like, uh, these slow lings are not that cool. I'm not really cool You feel cool like with you automatically lings. want to go for uh, Baneling after this, if, if they're doing it in this spot, because if they try to land the barracks to wall in the entrance, then you actually For the add ons and stuff? Yeah. Or I guess well, roach bane. yeah, I mean, uh, I feel like a, a roach tech with speed can be really good, especially if you see them uh, throwing down add-ons. Like, I think that's something you want to scout constantly and be reactive to just in case. Uh, so, yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing him throw down a roach warren uh, eventually here after he gets some gas going. I think that would be cool. Um, but... You know, Gumio always could go mech on this map. Uh, he could always make add-ons in the main base. He doesn't have to do them at the natural. He doesn't even have to have three Raxes at the natural. He does do it this time, but, you know, you can just throw it on, like, bunkers and stuff. And, or even supply depots. And he does have a factor uh. in the way. All right, the lanes are... Oh, that's actually a pretty big uh, hit there. He's going to have to back up now. And so far, Gumio's had moderate success here with these uh, Marines he's been pushing around the map with. Yeah. You know, uh, at the very minimum, it keeps uh, Curious a little bit on his toes. He has to continually scout. Uh -huh. If he wants to take a 30, he has to be really careful about how he does it as well. 
double eBay on the way for Gumiho, so looks like he's going to go for that economic marine siege tank play. Curious is getting his speed upgrade. It's very good, very important for him to get. All right. Um, I really wonder how Curious is going to handle the late game here against Gumiho. Um, if it gets to that point. Yeah. I mean, you, if you talk about a, a series you did not only get to see how good he is, but you can also study how Gumio plays. I mean, is there something to curious in mind where he's in, uh aha. -huh. Well, I think it's against go Gumio, I think you have to go Broodlord first. I if, so. uh, if he sees What's you. wrong, Kaldor? <laughs> Why are you looking at us, funny? <laughs> I think Caldor just got a lot of tweets. Thanks, guys, for backing us up. Thanks for backing up. us up. We appreciate it. Say no to Caldor's false information. Yeah, I'm sick of his the Caldor propaganda yeah. machine. Uh, this is just here. this is what he does, guys. This is what he does. It's very coding. You just see him at yoga. I would not trust someone that unflexible. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. That's right. You guys were going uh, taking yoga. I, I really wish I could. I just wanted to see you trying to. Because when I uh, Artos, you're lots of things. You're funny. And you're smart, but one of the things you're not is flexible. Like, oh yeah, it's uh, it's painful in more ways than one. Tasteless. All <laughs> right, we do have this game like normalizing super fast here. Uh, you know, layer is on the way, one one as well. Speed is just finished up the third base with good timing. Nice creep spread by uh, Curious. An improvement over what we've seen uh, from him against MC at least. Gumio in the meantime. Uh, really getting his upgrades going. Ooh, that's a nice catch right there. Yeah, a nice little clean up there. By Curious, no, he split off some of the lanes, see if he couldn't get inside. Um, nice control though by Gumio, trying to pull those uh, lanes over to where the Marines can gun them down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so we have the 1-1 one -one here, about halfway done. Um, for Curious, so the 1-1 one -one for Gumio is about to complete. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that little amount behind, as long as he's very careful during that little stretch of time, shouldn't be a, a big factor, I don't think, you know. Uh, curious, I could see him going up to layer, uh, I mean a uh, hive, rather, sorry, at sure. a, a good pace like Lucira. You know, I don't normally think of him as one of these zergs that stays layer tech for a super long time, like DRG or Sniper or something like that, so... Uh, you know, I think he'll be able to keep up reasonably well with the upgrades overall. Uh, well, we got the 2-2 uh, two -two here, excuse me, for the uh, Marines. Coming up, walling this in for now. Baneling speed has just started and the infestation pit is about to finish. Yeah, and that tells us that he is more hive-minded. Uh, <laughs> not in a bad way than uh, some of the other players, because normally you want to go mutas if you're going to save layer tech for a long time, otherwise drops can... He's a good little play on words. He's very hive-minded. Thanks. And as in he just wants to get the hive guys, not as in he's a... Not as in he's a bee. drone, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not as in he's a bee, yeah. Yeah. He's definitely not a bee, guys. I saw him. He's a human. <laughs> for those of you accusing him of being a bee, that's it's really messed up. It's time to stop it. <laughs> it's called slander. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well... Speaking of which, wouldn't it be cool to have like a pet bumblebee and it'd, like fly around the room and like land on your finger and stuff? Uh, I once knew a song about a little baby bumblebee. Yeah? Yeah. And eventually, ouch, he stung me. And it stung Macaulay Cock and he died and that was the end of the story. Like, <laughs> what? Is that how like, uh, what is that movie that Macaulay Cock in that he was in right after um, uh, Home Alone? My Girl or something? Home Alone 2? No, 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 no. Look at who's bad at movies now. <laughs> I think it's the one where he gets stung by a bee and dies. I Home Alone 3? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> like, Home Alone 2 is before Home Alone 3 tastes as cool. <laughs> Sorry, I get that mixed up. <laughs> a lot of people do. Yeah, it's not easy. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't in the other movies. Did you see Home Alone? You think he was in other movies? You're so cute. Okay, well, anyways. He was also in this other movie about the, uh, I don't know, he was in a wheelchair in a religious school. I think you're making this up. I think this is, Man. I think little director Tasteless as a child decided that he wanted his favorite <laughs> movie star, Macaulay Culkin, to be in a movie that he, in fact, created in his coloring book. No, Tasteless. That never happened. Oh, man, my bad, dude. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, we got Ultralis uh, camera, yeah. by the way. It looks like he's actually going to push here. You know, this Ultralis style it really is getting so popular. And this is not a bad map for it. Now, look at this creep spread right here. 
It's absolutely fantabulous. It is absolutely crazy, man. Like, and look at how even those creep tumors are, really. It's like a plain runway. I could land it's a like 747 in there. It's like there's, there's zoning codes here about yeah. how many creep tumors can be put together. Like, this is clearly a gated suburb here. And it looks like the attack is not going to work out well because he completely messed that up. Uh, so we do have try a again. huge flank thing coming up possibly here. He's going to wait until he's yeah. a little bit more spread out. He needs this next batch of 34 lings to actually pop out. And then he can flank this in such a way that it will be furious indeed. Oh, he's got to be careful. Don't overextend. He's got to get 2-2 two -two as well. It's just about to finish. There you go. It there does goes. finish up. And I'd love to see to get a there. huge he will hit and probably take this out. Yeah, I think he's going to crush this Gumiho push. He's maxed out with the, the same upgrades, and he's got a good creep spread. He's got these units set up perfectly for a great flank. He's just got to time it out so they all hit at the same time, and he should be able to crush this. Here we go. Indeed we do. Those Sea Chanks in beautiful positions from behind. And in fact, Curious leaving a ton of his units behind. But does it matter? Nay, I say, Tasus, it does not matter. Nay, indeed. And now, uh, yeah, I mean, Curious is in a massive lead. I think a lot of this does have to do with the fatigue from Gumiho in that series. Could be. I'm feeling the fatigue from just casting it, man. <laughs> That yeah, I, I feel quite fatigued myself, yeah, Tasteless. <laughs> the Gude had been fatted. Um, well, he's cleaning this up now. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I, he could he's going to get the fourth, but he could actually go for the third as well. Yeah, the fourth is a little bit harder because it is that planetary. So, yeah. ooh, that's a good siege tank snipe right there, Tasteless. Yeah. I've seen some siege tank snipes in my day, <laughs> and that was a good one. That rated on the positive side. <laughs> That was a 9 out of 10 on Siege Tank sniping. Um, well, we got the uh, Ultralisk armor on the way, the plating. And um, as you can see, Zerg's uh, about a, a little bit under a minute away from maxing out. And he'll probably go ahead and attack again here. He could hit the third or the fourth. Either one's fine. I, it, we might be at the point in time where um, Curious can make it impossible for Gumiho to ever acquire a fourth base if he does this right. Mm. Well, that fourth base is still mining, so this is... This is kind of similar to before because there's been no real threat to the fourth. So it it's interesting that way because he's still an ultralist tech, which means that Gumio is going to get up to a composition that's actually more powerful than this composition. But here we go. He's actually going for all oh, that many banelings. He should be able to get it. Oh, yeah. No, that's going to be easy peasy. Yeah, hold everything back to the fungals. Kill this off. That was that was a beautiful snipe actually by Curious. I loved the single ultralisk and the fungals to hold the army back, to zone everything out so that you could easily get that at not too high a cost. That was that was super well done by Curious. And uh, you can see there was an attempt to snipe um, this base over here, the uh, uh, center right. It looks like Curious has got that up and running, and there's no real threat to that now. And it, perhaps uh, Gumio has actually overstayed uh, his welcome here in the middle of the map. It looks like Zerg's going to clean this up easily. And I gotta say, it does look like, uh, you know, it, it does look like Curious is probably gonna be the first out of this and going into the round of yeah, eight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gumiho in uh, terrible amounts of trouble right now. Yeah, this is disastrous. It is. He might be able to fungle these uh, metabags here. Nope. Uh, no nope, energy. No energy. Excuse me. Well, we do have a lot more Ultras, Lings, and Infestors in the way. That fifth base coming up very quickly for Curious. He still up 70 supply as well, getting a ton of Banelings also. I just, I don't see any way, even with this really nice composition that Gumio's trying to get up to, he's just not in the same spot he was before. You know, this is, this isn't the same Gumio as we saw in the first series, really. Uh, he doesn't no, have Curious just, as mapped out, which makes sense, because Curious well, has more builds it than looks Lucera, like but. A, it, it, Knowing Gumi, it looks like an exhausted StarCraft 2 player, to be totally yeah. honest. And you know what? This is actually making me think that we might see Curious MC come out because... Yeah, because of the fact these guys played such an epic game. Yeah, like such an epic series that took so long. And we... Hold on, we actually have a big attack coming right now. now are there enough lanes? Looks like more coming in here and spilling down. Yeah, quite the a few. The planet series not done, and it's not going to finish in time as we are seeing one move by one move. Uh, Gumio get outmaneuvered and shut down. That's right, Gumio with almost nothing left here. Five more Infestors on the way. He the Ultras actually sure. attacking by themselves. Yeah. Never a good idea, even when you're this far ahead, probably. Uh, and they're just going to go ahead and tear down these buildings. Goodbye, Supply Depots. See you in hell, Supply Depots. And I think we're going to have GG pretty soon here. 
And this is going to be crushing here for Gumio, man. I mean, yeah, this I, is... I'm trying to imagine what it's like to exhibit yourself as one of the best endgame parents of all time and be like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's I a can't true play a standard statement. late game, yeah. Uh, and, well, he's going to micro a bit more. Doesn't want to give up quite yet, but uh, well, I assure you impression. this game is over. Curious, is probably is going to give a little special Valentine here to Lucera for making this so easy for him. Yeah. Uh, probably all these Ultras will die because this yep. is the nature of Ultras. Yeah. And then the Lynx come in here, and with the Ultras backing him up. Nature versus Nurture, Tasteless. The nature of Ultras over the nurture of their upgrades. <laughs> Nice bungles there. Yeah. Get those investors! Submarine and out of there. I wonder oh. if they use sonar to move around correctly underground. I don't even. They don't even look like uh, bugs that could actually I wanna know uh, move how around they... underground. I mean, you know when, they, when you're on a space station map, you see investors move like that. It's like, how do they burrow through metal that fast? That's a good question. That's like, the other question is, yeah, how do they actually move through it, not just throw underground? But yeah, they must have a lot of ass in their mouth, which begs me, begs uh, the question of why don't they shoot like hydralisks? Ah, uh, that's a good pointer. Yeah, Joseph. no, that's uh, these are the things I think about. Yeah, the things you stay up late at night thinking about, man. Look at this, this planetary almost dead, but he's repairing ah! the last second. Well, that over. was a Use bit of an overextension. Up. Yeah, well, this is that situation where Curious is like, I can't lose, I can't lose, ha, attack move, ha, I can't lose, ha, attack move. And now he's like, all right, he's like, right. lords. Brood yeah. lords. And, uh, yeah, just repairing that. As you can see, the supply is now 92, 97 now to 179. Yeah, and um, 79 is just 97 backwards. It so. is, when you think about it. You yeah. know, potatoes, potatoes. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and now we got the Gumi Ho, Gumi No. Yeah. <laughs> then we got a. Uh, we're not funny anymore, Artosis. All right. Uh, yeah, we, we are. What are you talking about? You and I are laughing. That's all that matters. That's true, I guess. <laughs> that is true. You so got to pretend you're not talking to anyone but me, Tasis. <laughs> yeah, that's what I normally do. Um, so I believe he's going to try to push in here onto this planetary. I don't. I mean, th this is a really a game of math. I mean, 121 supply, can that really. With a planetary hold against a maxed out Zerg with a death ball, uh, a bunch of Banelings, 18 of them to be precise, on the way. Yeah, 18 Banelings. The <laughs> legal drinking age in Korea, Yeah, tasteless. that's true. Let's see if they drink in some marine blood. Running for it, going after that planetary. Just barely not enough to kill wow. it. Wow. Wow, that is the worst Banelings ever, but it doesn't matter because there's so many Ultras. Wouldn't it be ultras. so funny if you actually saved the planetary yeah. and Ultras? I'm like, oh my god, you just actually... But you know what else would be funny is if now Gumiho comes back. Well, he's maxed out again. Well, how many uh, fungals do we have left? Ooh, though, well, that's a very good fungal right there, holding him still for these Ultras. But uh, getting really cost efficient is Gumiho once again trying to invent electricity, but Gumiho, electricity already exists. Yeah, it's just too much. GG, okay. Curious gets out, it makes sense. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Did Curious just make the round of eight? Yeah. Is Curious not going to code A? Yeah. I guess that's what's actually happening. Welcome to the Twilight Zone. <laughs> where Curious is not in code A in the up and down matches. <laughs> wow, Gumiho, I, I can't imagine the stress this guy is actually under right now. I mean, my god. You play an amazing series like that, you get burnt out against uh, Curious. Well, he's in round 10 of a boxing match with eight rounds, Tasteless. Yeah, no kidding. Whereas Curious just did round two at his full power. We, <laughs> we are going to take a quick little break, and when we return, we're going to go to the loser's match of today's GSL Codes.